Hey Steve, I wanted to send you this little quick little video, just my version of the slap shot cylinder and a couple of changes I made uh, to try to save some money. And uh, for one thing, the main thing is these three quarter inch check valves instead of one inch brass down at the bottom and a three quarter top. I just replaced them with two three quarter inch PVC check valves. They are a quarter of the cost of. Uh, of the brass. The other thing is on the plunger I have four uh, fender washers sandwiching uh, rubber gaskets and then I have a just a coupling I can also use one inch one and a half inch PVC pipe just as a spacer and what that allows the plunger to do is stay very uh, stable in the cylinder. It spreads out the load and it off helps I believe center center this plunger and keep, keep it straight no matter what's going on up at top. So I um, had some extra parts kicking around. This is a little smaller diameter than what you have just because I had some pump pieces left over. So okay let me just put this together. I'm going to take and uh, I think it's the same way that you would uh, normally do that. I, I also did ream out the bottom of that uh, bushing. And so the bottom valve goes in, two inch cylinder, and then the strainer, and then we have the plunger. The plunger goes in, you know, it wobbles if there's a little bit at, without the other one, but once you set that second gasket in there, it is, it does not budge as you spread out the load. So it's just a piston with the load spread out. I am going to drill some holes and do a, a lift pump first, not a force. And so there we have it. Uh, just a different version of slap shot. Appreciate any feedback you might have. Yeah. And uh, but that's my version. And I can't I don't have a handle long enough to demonstrate pulling it the fishing tool out, but I, I know you know it. I know you know that it works. So that's it. Thank you.